What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and if you're wondering about our 2023 rosters for NCAA football, uh, I'm wanting to give an update on that. All the Power 5 teams are now complete, and I say complete, but they are constantly being updated because after week one, we'll get those depth charts, and, and there will be some adjustments. But overall, they're in pretty good shape. Um, all the players are on the rosters, at least. And uh, again, I think that for the most part, you're going to see these pretty accurate with those week one depth charts. I used the Phil Steele preseason magazine, pretty much went by his depth charts, unless I knew of something that was different. Uh, and we've, you know, I've already made some adjustments like uh, with the quarterback battles. Uh, Rashada at Arizona State, I did not have him as the starter. Now he is the starter, things like that. Uh, so let's get into it. I'm just going to show you some of the top players and give you an update on just this overall project. Um, you can get these rosters. All you have to do is join our Patreon. It's only $5, um, so you can get the rosters right there. And to help support the channel, help support everything that we do here. So let's just look at the top players first. Caleb Williams is the top player overall, but he's tied with Joshua Cardi, a punter, our kicker from Stanford, and Marvin Harrison Jr., also Blake Corum from Michigan. So those are your four 98s overall. Um, and then you see the other top players. I'm not going to read them all off. We'll just kind of quickly go through, and I will show you these top players. And we'll, we'll look at each position as well. And you see, there are a lot of really good players this year. A lot of players, 95 plus. Of course, you have a ton of players when you have all these teams. Uh, but let's just go ahead and look at the top players at each position. Uh, Penix is actually the number two quarterback, or tied with Drake May as the number two quarterback. You got Bo Nix, Jaden Daniels, Frank Harris. And you'll see some of these generic players because I have not done all the group of five teams just yet. Uh, that's something I'll be working on. It's going to be kind of slow go because, again, I've, I've got to do updates to the Power 5 teams because I'm trying to keep them as accurate as I can for all my simulations. And then just with football season being here, I have a ton of work to do in other areas. So it's going to take a while, but I hope to be able to get all those group of five teams done. And I'm going to have a new Dynasty file coming out on Friday uh, where you can, and I'm recording this on August 30th, so right before week one. Uh, and that Friday of week one, I'll have a new dynasty file where you can play with the updated 2023 schedule with these rosters. And again, you'll have all the power five teams done. Unfortunately, you just won't have the group of five. You'll have generic players for those uh, teams, but you won't have old players. You want players from last year because I always start with a brand new file every year. Uh, looking at the running backs, we've got Corum, Judkins, Braylon Allen, Will Shipley, Rocket Sanders, Nicholas Singleton, Travion Henderson, as you take a look at those top players um, at wide receiver, I named some of these earlier. Showed you some of these earlier. Um, a, a lot of good players in college football this year. Tied in, of course, Brock Bowers at number one. Then you got Sanders from Texas, Keithy from Utah, Gadsden from Syracuse. And so there's there's your top tight ends. Uh, we'll kind of go through the offensive line here. And you can see all the players now complete. And then looking at the defensive side of the ball, again, I'm just going to quickly go through and show you the top players. And I'll show you what um, what you're going to get in all those group of five teams here in just a second. Uh, so looking at the linebackers. How about Barrett Carter, 95 of Clemson? And then you've also got Jeremiah Trotter, who's a 95. That's a pretty good duo at linebacker right there from Clemson. Uh, then you look at Harold Perkins at 96 overall. Top corner is Kool-Aid McKinstry and Kalen King, Cooper DeGene. There's your top corners, top free safeties. Also top strong safeties, which could also be the star position for some teams or the nickelback because the way the game works. If you're in a 4-2-5 or a 3-3-5 defense, the second strong safety on the roster will be, or on the depth chart, will actually be that extra defensive back. If you're playing a 4-3 defense or a 3-4 defense, the extra defensive back comes from the third cornerback. So that's uh, just something interesting there, uh, the way they do it here. And then the kickers and punters. So I'll just go to a, a random team. Um, let's just go to... Uh, we'll go to Georgia since they're the defending national champions. And there you go. I mean, you can see all the players complete with the ratings. And this is what you'll get for all of the Power 5 teams. Also, Notre Dame 
included in that as well. And then let's go to, uh, I'll show you what you're going to get from some group of five teams. So if the team has not been worked on at all, if I haven't done any updates to the group of five team, then they're going to look like this. So I haven't done anything on Hawaii yet. See, so you, you just get the generic players. Um, so if you're playing your dynasty, the game is going to, you can auto name these players and they're going to have names. They just won't be the right names. It's just not going to be the, the real rosters, but it's not, you're not just going to play wide receiver number five. You'll play some random name. Um, and then some of the group of five teams, which I think I've only done like maybe seven or eight of them. Uh, Middle Tennessee, there was one. I know I've done them. Uh, so you can see I've done some group of five teams and we'll be doing more of them here in the future. So uh, you just want to join the Patreon, watch for the updates. I usually post them every Friday. Um, and again, I know p people complain, you know, $5. I'm not going to pay $5. Well, uh, you have to understand the time that it takes. I'm one person and the time that it takes for me to do these rosters, it takes away from me doing other things. So I can't do as much, for example, on YouTube. So I can't make as much money on YouTube because I'm spending time on rosters. And it would be impossible for me to do this, to spend this kind of time doing these rosters for free. Because if I gave up that time for free, I wouldn't make enough money in other areas and I would go broke. So I'm not getting rich off this, I promise. Uh, it's just the support helps me to, to make enough money off of this so that it's worth my time and I can spend the time doing these rosters and uh, moving forward, hopefully we can get them finished. I'm gonna have a new dynasty file, like I said, on Friday. I'll do a video on that. And then going into the future, I will do rosters probably again next year. I know the new game's coming out, but some of you might wanna play college football in, in May or June before that game comes out. And so I'll probably do them one more year and just see how it goes. I mean, if the support's there on Patreon, if you guys wanna keep playing this game, I'll keep making the rosters, that's fine. Uh, but I kinda feel like it's, it's not going to last too much longer. Uh, but if you're wondering about the future of the rosters and all that, if if uh, we decide not to do rosters moving forward, if everyone pretty much moves to the new game, then I'll start working on some historic rosters, which I hope to do anyways. But uh, we'll spend a lot more time doing some historic rosters, some all-time teams, things like that. Uh, so that's kind of the future of, of, what, of what's going to happen with these rosters. But if you'd like to get them, again, all the Power 5 teams complete, for 2023 just join us on patreon link is down in the description below